guys, it's Alex from Alex Creative Corner here, and this is part one out of three on how to make a Rainbow Loom Peacemaker from Wings of Fire. Um, sorry for being very inactive. Uh, I've just been really busy, and sorry if the lighting is bad in this. My power is out, so I'm just using my window light. Um, and this is the mini Nightwing tutorial. And I'm doing Peacemaker. And yes, I know Peacemaker is like kind of like a hybrid with a rain wing. But um, I don't really know of any current like main character or like relevant baby Nightwings that I could use for my mini Nightwing tutorial. Because I could do like Starflight or Moonwatcher, but I don't want to just like make them a baby. Because like Peacemaker is actually a baby. Um, so he'd fit the mini size. So it's just gonna be a Nightwing with some extra colors. And yeah, I'm not gonna add like the frill or anything. It's just gonna be Nightwing design. So y'all can make any Nightwing from it. So, um, we can get started. The band count should be in the description. If you're making Peacemaker, you're gonna be using a lot of colors, including black. Um, yeah. And then you can make a normal Nightwing with like black and gray, white, whatever you want to use. Okay, so I'm going to start making the head and neck. Um, from the, make sure your loom is in this uh, offset configuration. So on the fourth peg from the bottom, um, double looping black bands. Um, oh, I made a mistake already. So what you're going to do is start with so on the fourth peg in the center go down twice with two band two black bands at a time and then um, double loop a single black band and do that all the way down the center so two sets of um, two sets of two bands and then double loop all the way down Ignore what I'm putting on right now. Um, and then on the sides, from the fifth peg to the bottom, go down five times with double looped black if you're making Peacemaker. And then you will want to double loop a yellow, then an orange, then a red on both sides. And then two blacks from the edge coming into the center. Like that. So just two blacks there and then two blacks there. Um, and now for the holding bands, double loop black into a triangle like that. Like I did. I did do that there, 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 and there. And then use a neon green right here. Um, and then use an orange. Then use a red. Then use a black. Um, and then this end peg... You want to cap that off with a band wrapping around five times. So get a black band, wrap it around this peg five times. Create five loops. So now we are going to kind of get started. Um, please don't go ahead because um, there's a lot of things we're going to do. So first, you see this red holding band that we just did? Lift up from that peg. Um, for this part, we're making the teeth. I'm just using alpha looms because they're smaller. So alpha loom white. You can use uh, rainbow loom white and wrap it around your hook four times. And then alpha loom, you only have to wrap it around three times. I, um, it's probably better if you use the alpha loom bands because they're smaller. This is a small dragon. Um, so they won't be giant, but either way will work. We're going to do it again um, on the other side. And then we're going to do this. We're going to replace that holding band. We're going to do the same thing on the next peg, which is the orange set. In this video, it might take a little bit longer than usual because... Um, there's some extra things that um, I've added 
that will add on to the overall design and make it look better. Um, like sharper claws, stuff like that. Um, not all of it is mandatory, um, but to make it look better, it will take longer than usual. Just a heads up. Um, so once you've made the teeth and attached them, we're going to barely start them. No, no, no. We're going to do the eyes. Here, let me show you. So take... It's better if you use alpha and bands for this, of course. So if you're making Peacemaker, you can use either purple or green. Um, so take... Um, oh, your black bands, because right now we're making the... Um, eyelid. So wrap a black band around four times. Double loop of black. Slide on the cap band. And then get another black band. Put it, oh, and Make sure to hold that on your finger. Um, another black band. Wrap it around four times. Um, get a uh, green. Um, if you're using alpha loom, you can just put it on that side once. Twist and put the other end on the hook, so it looks like that. If you're doing rainbow loom bands, you can just wrap or er, wrap it around each side of the black band twice. So you can replace that eyelid band that was on your finger. Um, so that's one eye. We need to make another one. So push this down on your hook. I'm gonna go a bit quicker since I just showed you how to do it. So I'm making the eyelid. Okay. Um, put that. So it's like this, you've got both eyes. Try to hide the, like there's a crisscross side, maybe like hide it with the eyelid. That's what I do. It might look weird now because it's not even close to done. Um, so now I'm gonna double loop a black and pull everything onto that black double loop band um, and make sure it's in order. So you've got the green, the um, pupil, Green, then that. So there's one eye on. Now I'm just going to do the second eye. So the black, then the green, then the black and green, and the black. So you've got both both eyes on there, and so it's like this. Put the two loops that are on your hook. Go to the third peg from the top, which should be like an orange set. Put one in there and one end across. Um, looks very weird now. So spread the eyes apart so that there's space between them. And take two of the four loops that's in between and pull them very carefully since it's a double looped band. Pull it. And it, you've got to be very careful that this doesn't break, because there's no backup band on it. Unless you use two, but... Um. Mine broke, so I'm going to redo it. Okay, so I was finally able to get the eyes on, so two right there, um, two the loops right there, two right there, and in the middle to go onto that peg. Um, um, just be careful that it doesn't snap. So now we're going to start looming slowly because we got to attach and make some, some things. Ugh. Um, one sec, guys. I just broke a band. Going to replace it. with 
she could snap like mine did. So you grab the top two bands, um, then your next two, mine go right there. Um, and now we're going to make a little thing. Okay. Um, get a an alpha loom white. You can also use a regular white. Um, if you're using an alpha loom, you're going to want to use something like this. Um, they came with the rainbow loom. I think it's called a mini loom. So put it on a peg, and then if you're using a normal white, just use two normal pegs and do the same thing. So put it around this, twist it, and then around this, and then twist it again, and put it over both. Um, so it looks like that. Now I'm going to take my hook, lift up the bottom two from there, lift it over that, and the bottom two from there. Lift it over that. So this is just going to be a very tiny spike. So get both of the end loops of it on your hook. Um, that's your little spike. So I'm going to go down under the cap band, loom up the last two bands, and slide on this little spike. And loom it over like that. And now I'm going to loom up the sides two times, but only twice, because we got to make the horns. So now the horns get white bands. So get a one white, wrap it around four times, and then double loop three whites, so double loop one, slide it on, reclaim, double loop two, slide it on, reclaim, and a third, and now take a black, or whatever your body color is, um, double loop it, and slide this horn on, and reclaim. So that's one horn, you're going to need to go and make another, but right now I'm going to go into the next set, loom up, it should be the yellow bands. Um, try to make sure it doesn't snap when you loom, gotta be careful, because that peg has the eyes on it. So loom it up, slide on the horn, and then loom over. So it's like that. Make another horn, I've already made mine. Um, so you can pause the video and make your other horn. I'm gonna go loom the other one. Remember to be careful, you might need a helping hook. Slide it on. Like that. Now, we, after you've done that, you can loom all the way up the sides, just the sides, though. Like that. And now in the middle, loom up. Once. Once, yeah. Um, dang it. My bands always break. Just bear with me a little bit. It's hard with these double looped bands. They snap very easily. You might need two hooks, pencil, fingers, whatever, to help you out if this stuff happens.
Okay, open that. Um, and now what we're gonna do is take, okay, we're gonna make some spikes. There's two different kinds that we need to make. The first one is with a normal white band. Get two pegs of anything, so just find two pegs, get your white, um, twist it onto the second peg, and then twist it again, and bring it over both. So it's what we did basically with that other nose spike. So I'm gonna, so there's, I'm gonna lift up the bottom two, over, and then lift up the other bottom two, over. So that's a little spike. Um, make two more of those so that you've got three. So I've already made them. So here's one. I'm gonna loom up the next set, slide that on, loom over. Um, I've got two more. So loom up, slide one on, and loom up, slide one on. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to make a different type of spike. This one's a little bit harder since it's um, sharper. So I'm going to use an alpha loom band. Um, if you don't have an alpha loom band or you don't have alpha loom white bands, just continue to do what you've been doing with those spikes. But if you do have alpha loom and you want to use it to make it sharper, so make this thing that we do with the nose spike, and also what we just did. So twist it, put it on, twist it over again. And I'm going to lift up the bottom two over, and the bottom two over. So you've got this little spike thing. Um, get both loops on your hook. Like that. And then double loop. A white, a normal white band, and then slide on that alpha loom spike, and reclaim. So this is what the spike looks like. It's a little bit different, but it's like spikier. So I'm gonna slide that on the next set, um, and then make three more of those. Um, we only need three more for the neck, but we're gonna need more for the body. So decide if you want to go through the hassle of making these um, so that you'll have like cooler spikes or if you would rather have the other ones that I showed you how to make and I do those in my other dragon, mini dragon videos. Um, and then just sliding on the rest of them the rest of the way. Like that. So this is our head so far. Head and neck. I'm going to tie off um, all three ends with three random colored bands. Doesn't matter what color, because we'll take them off later. Um, tying it off in the slip knot. And the middle one. Now I'm going to very gently start to take this off my loom. Um, be very careful. Since this is mostly double looped bands, might look a little bit weird because, first of all, the head is not done. This is only the top part. We do the bottom jaw in part three with the belly. And then also you can just do some adjusting so that it's like, um, it looks like you want it to look like. Um, so you can tug on the spikes so they're not like stuck in the head or anything. See, there's a small difference between the spikes, but these look sharper. Um, then you can adjust the horns. Um, I 
teeth and stuff. Um, I'll do more off camera because I still have a lot more stuff to do in this video. So you can, I'll adjust mine more later. Okay. Um, now we're going to be making the legs. The toes are going to be pretty tedious because we're going to make them like sharp claws. Um, like that. Just similar to what we do with the spikes. So I'll show you. Change your limb configuration to rectangular. Like this. Take two black bands at a time. And go down. Three times. Then right here. Go down twice. And then diagonally. And then three bands, three black bands right there. And three black bands. Um, so now what we're gonna do, if this is your first leg, um, if this is your first front leg, what you're going to do is follow what I do. Um, don't do this if this is your second time making the front leg, like you're making the other front leg. So, first time, follow me. Um, ma wrapping a red band around your hook five or four times, so it's cat band, slide it on. Then orange, wrap it around four times, slide it on. This You only have to do this if you're making Peacemaker making some other Nightwing, you can just use like gray or whatever color you want. So yellow now. Now I'm going to use um, lime green. And then I'm going to use ocean blue. Slide it on. Um, and the, when it's your second leg, you're not going to atta attach those on until you're looming. So you would slide them on those pegs when you're looming. So now I'm going to double loop black bands and put them on um, those two across those two pegs. So there and there. Um, now for the toes, I'll show you what to make. So we're going to do the same thing with the Alpha Loom white bands. So take one, um, figure eight it, then twist it over. Um, I'll zoom in. Um, loom up the, or grab the bottom two, pull them over, grab the bottom two, pull them over. That's your... That's your like nail. So grab the loop from that end and the loop from the other end like that. Now take a black band and double loop it, slide it on. I'll show you one more time how to do this with the other, with another toe. So that's one toe. We need to make three more. Um, I'll show you how to make one more. Figure eight it. Oops. Um, figure eight it. Twist it. Pull it over. Um, then pull up the bottom two over there. Bottom two over there. Now I'm going to grab um, the loop from each end. Oh gosh. Um, I think mine fell. I'm just going to do it again really quickly. Here. 
um, <laughs> I've lost it. It's very small, so you got to keep track of it. Sorry for that, guys. I'm just going to do this really quickly. So let's put those two. Those two. Take it off. Put your hook around both loops. Then take a double looped black band, slide that on. So that's two toes. You want to make two more for this part. Um, I've already made them um, in advance. So make sure you've got four toes that all look like that on your hook. Now double loop a black band. Pull all four toes on. And now take a black band, wrap it around three times, um, reclaim, um, then what you're going to do is make one more toe, exactly like all of the others, um, put it on your hook so it looks like this. Now. You can pause it to make that double loop, a black, and slide everything on in order. And if you wanted, you could wrap that little thing around four times, but it doesn't matter. So reclaim, once you've got all that on your hook, should look somewhat like that. Now what you're going to do um, is attach this onto here and if this is your first foot and you've already got these rainbow stuff on, Make sure that that little thumb you just made is facing up. But if this is your second foot and you don't have these on yet, make sure it's facing down. So now we're going to start looming. If this is your second foot, you're going to loom and you're going to slide a blue cap band onto there. Loom it and then slide a green onto there. So it's just like that. So loom at the top two. None go here. And then a yellow would go here, an orange here, and a red here. I'm going to tie off both ends with random bands. And now I'm going to take this off of my loom. You can adjust it, um, tug on these um, um, little spots, I think that's what they would be, um, just cat bands, tugging them to adjust. Um, yeah, I'll do more later, because I need to carry on with the video. Um, but it's up to you to adjust it how you want it to look. And yeah. So here's, go ahead and make another one of those symmetrical. So I told you how to do it. Like, as we went in the video, I told you how to do the second one. So just rewatch it. 
and follow my instructions. So then, after making that, you should have two symmetrical like that. Um, now I'm going to show you how to make the back leg. It's very similar. Um, so taking two back black bands, going down three times. Um, actually go down twice, and then three times in the center for the back leg, and then do diagonal right there. Um, now I'm going to put three black bands right there. Now um, with gray, I'm going to make a gray wrap, wrap it around four times as a cap band, slide it on here. So it's the same thing what we did with the front leg, but instead of it being different colors, it's just all going to be gray. You can obviously do whatever color you want, but for the way that um, the design of mine is going to be gray on the back leg. Um, now I'm going to double loop, oh god, now I'm going to double loop black up around there, uh, double loop another black, Just put it on there, we're going to make another toe, it's a little bit different, so what you want to do is take, so you know those um, claws, or those toes that we made for the front leg, make them exactly the same, but only make three this time. I've made all three of mine, so just pause the video, make yours. Um, now what I'm going to do is double loop of black. So this is different than the last front leg. Slide on all three toes. Um, take a black, wrap it around four times. Reclaim. Now, what I'm going to do, um, take two bands. It's going to be like a double, double, double loop. So take two, and then twist them around like you would with a double loop. So now you've got like four loops on your finger. Now slide everything in order onto those four loops. Then reclaim them. Um, now, what I'm gonna do is make um, one more toe just like the others so it's on the side of my room or my hook and I, and there's eight bands right here or eight loops I need this um, claw to be in the middle so in between four loops on each side so just pull it through four side loops um, okay, so it should look like this. It's in between them. I'm going to do that again. So, take two black, double loop them. So you've got four loops inside everything on in order. So these four loops on, then the toe, then four loops. And then... Just reclaim that. So, whether this is your front leg or back leg, you will attach it the same way. So, like this. Just make sure that the like, little back toe is facing this way. Like, away from the 
spots. So now we can loom. If this is your second back leg, then you're going to slide a gray spot on right here. Um, and not do the one that we just did earlier. Um, oh great, one of my band snapped. It's fine, I've got two others there. I'm just gonna ignore it, it'll be fine. So then you put a gray there, there, and there as you're looming. Um, um, so now I'm gonna tie this off. Um, and I'm gonna take it off of my loom. And then you can do some adjusting. And stuff. Um, adjust yours however you want so it can look the way that you want it to. So now I've got... So now go and make another one symmetrical. So rewatch that and listen to what I tell you to do about your second foot. Um, so now I've got two back legs, two front legs, and then my head and neck. Um, now I'm gonna show you how to make the wings. So just pause, make your other back leg if you haven't done that already. Um, to start out with the wing, what we're going to do is um, take a take an orange and a yellow. Just make sure the loom looks like this. An orange and a yellow on that peg. Then take two yellows. Take a yellow and a neon green. Then take two neon greens, then a blue and a lime green. So blue and lime. Um, now what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is cap this off with a blue. So take one blue, Wrap it around three times is good. And you need to make some claws. These are a little bit different. So what you're gonna how to make a claw. Yes, we have to do this little thing with the Alpha Luma ba band again. If you don't want to do this, you can just cap off a normal white band wrapping around five times. But if you want yours to look very good like this and sharp it takes more work um, so get both loops on your hook Ugh, let me just okay now we are going to Double loop a white band. Slide this on and reclaim. Now, double loop a black band. And that's a wing claw. You want to make two more. Okay, so loom up these two, lift up all four, and slide on that claw and reclaim. Now, lift up the top two bands and put a lime green and a blue. Just loose on there and then replace that. Um, now put a 
yellow, and I'll put a yellow and a neon green on that peg, loom this, now I'll just loom the next one, stop there, make another, make your two more wing spikes that I just showed you how to do. So I've made mine. So get one, lift up all four of these loops, slide one on, and replace. It's okay if this comes off, just put it back on. Now lift up the top two, and I am going to put two yellows on that peg. Now replace. And then put a yellow and an orange on this peg. Loom that. And then loom this. Lift up all four loops. And slide on that last claw. Now I'm going to tie this off with a random colored band. And just take this off. And so you have these loose bands. Pull them out in the opposite direction that the claws are going. So that it looks like this. Um, you don't have to use rainbow, you can just use black, whatever you're doing, if you're not making Peacemaker and you're making a normal Nightwing. So now, um, um, I'm going to take two blacks at a time. I'll zoom out a bit. Two blacks at a time, top, go down ten times. Now two reds at a time, go down twice in the center, once on the third row, and then diagonally upwards. Then take two oranges, go down, two oranges diagonally down. An orange and a yellow, an orange and a yellow. Two yellows, two yellows, yellow and a neon green, yellow and a neon green. Two neon greens, two neon greens, a lime green and an ocean blue, lime green, ocean blue. Ocean blue and a purple, ocean blue and a purple. And then two purples diagonally upwards. Let me zoom a tiny bit. Um, sorry if the camera shakes. Now, take this piece that we made, go through the um, three loops of the blue little cat band, put it onto that peg, and then the other end that we tied off, go through all four loops, Take off the tying band and put it on to this peg, like that. Now these loose bands, the orange and the yellow, go across those. The two yellow go there. These two go there. And, um... These two go there. And then right here, you can just um, double loop a blue and put it across those two. And then right here, you can double loop an orange. Um, lift up these top two that we slid, slid on and then put on your double looped orange. And then you can replace them. Now, um, to start off looming, we need to make a big claw. Yes, the claws are very tiring if you make them sharp, but it'll turn out very cool. So making this tip thing, I'm going to call it the alpha loom tip thing. That I messed up. Um, you all know the routine. Get both loops. Um, and now I'm going to take a double looped white. Um, reclaim, 
Now I'm going to double loop another white. And then now I'm going to double loop a black. This is your second wing. I'll show you in a sec. I'll tell you in a sec. Um, also, double loop a red and put it on these two. Now we shall start looming. Uh, there's one more big claw. Oh, there's one more thing. Over here, um, take off those two loops and then those two. So what we're going to do... Oops, I'll put that back on. Take a red band, wrap it around your hook four times, slide onto that those two loops. Then with an orange, right here, and with a with a. Yellow. Sorry, I need to get more yellows. Like that. Now you can replace the two holding bands. Um, and now we're gonna continue looming. Okay. Now is where it gets a little bit complicated. If this is your second if this is your second wing what you want to do is wherever I slide on a star band you will instead of sliding it on like I am you will just um, take off the holding bands right there and slide it onto the two bands there and then and then you can loom it after you put the holding bands back so let me give you an example if this is your first wing you don't need to pay attention to this so we're going to be attaching a star right or um right here so I, what i would do lift up that um holding band take that off and then i would make the star thing, slide it on, pretend I slid it on, and then I would put these things back, the, then the holding band I would put back, and then I would loom, loom it. So you can do that right now on that peg. And if your first wing, um, to make a star, these are optional, but night wings have them on the bottom of their wings, or like on the underside. So I'm taking, you can use a white, but I'm using like these, like they're transparent white. I think they're in the solar band section. They turn blue, but that's not why. They just look cooler when they're transparent to me. So I'm um, sliding it on, moving that over. Sorry if that was complicated. Um, now we're gonna do the same thing to this peg. Slide it on. Now, on the top row, I'm going to... One, two, loom down, th or in the middle row, loom down three times. One, two, three. Now I'm going to attach another star. So, I've run the hook four times loom up slide on and you would be sliding it onto the lower part of the set before you loom if this is your second wing um, oh, oops not not on that yellow set um, take that you can do it on that yellow set but I didn't do that on my other wing so I'm just gonna change it so it fits with my other wing. I'm going to slide it on to the orange and yellow set. Like that. 
and then on this bottom row, um, this bottom row we're gonna slide on. Ugh. Did I skip one? There's something I'm gonna fix. You guys don't have to do this unless you want yours to look like mine exactly and have more stars on the wings. I'm going to go back a little bit and slide a star onto this um, blue and green set. I'm very sorry about this, guys. About my mistakes. That happens to everyone, I guess. But yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry if you can hear my dog. I'm gonna, and then I'm also gonna slide a star on the orange and yellow one. Like that. And then we're gonna bloom down once, make another star. Cab band. Um, boom up this. It's the one with two neon greens, so slide a star on there. Boom over. Boom up the next set. And then we're going to slide a star onto this yellow set, too. And boom this one. And now there's a diagonal set, which we will be attaching a star star on to so it's this one and slide it on um, I'm just gonna loom this one I'm gonna slide a star onto this diagonal very careful with this. There's a lot of bands on that. There's a lot of weight on that peg. Slide one on. Then I'm going to loom this red set. Now you can take two reds, go into this set right there, and take the two reds, grab them with your hook, pull them around, grab those two, so all four loops are on your hook. Um, oh, I missed one. Let me just grab it. Let me try again. Uh, all four loops. I'm gonna just um, tie that off. Um, then you can also tie off this other red set. That you loomed up to, and then I'm gonna loom these two bands, and then the next one will have a star in it. This is the last star for this wing. Okay, now you can tie off that end, um, loom down four times. And four. Um, now there's this set. Um, so you loomed up to this, go to the next one, lift up the um, holding bands, and now you can loom this set. Keep it like that. We're gonna make a um, big spike or claw. So now I'm gonna make the alpha loom tip thingies. You know the drill. Um, so I'm making one. last one of this wing. Um, now I'm going to double loop a white. Slide that on. Um, double loop another white. And 
and now take three black bands and slide that on. Um, now this, grab these four loops that you loomed, slide that on, and clamp it with that peg, lift up the top two, and replace that holding band, and replace that. Loom down twice, and now as we're looming, we will slide on um, a, cap a yellow cap band, so wrapping it around four times, then orange cap band around four times. And then the red. Wrap it around your hook four times. Now tie this off. Doesn't. It might look a little weird when you're done. The wing will need a lot of adjusting. And it doesn't have the veins on yet. So I'll show you how to do the veins. They're not very hard. Especially for the mini dragons. Um, so you can tug on the little claws. So see, they're very sharp compared to one of my other mini dragons. They're like kind of dull and sharp. I really like how that looks. Um, now you want to just adjust the little stars, um, center them on the loops that they're on, and then these little um, spots that we put. So now I'm going to show you how to make the veins. So you see this big claw at the top? There's a space under it. Put your hook through there. Now take two black bands, pull them through, and find a space beneath it on the way to that middle spike. So there's space right there. Put your hook through and put that other end of the black on. Now, take another two black bands, pull them through all those loops, go to this next gap, going straight down, and grab it. Um, now take one black, pull it through everything, then go into the four loop black loops of the claw. Um, grab the other end of this uh, black loop, pull it through everything. So you've got this one loop, and wrap it around that claw once. So you've got this vein, um, and you can adjust it a little bit. Um, I'll show you, you need to make two more, so from the big claw to this claw, and then this one to that one. So go back under, the, in that same gap, take two black bands, um, pull them through, and then on your way to that spike, um, find a gap, here's one. Put two loops on your hook, and then grab two more bands, pull them through, go into that last gap in front of the claw, then take one black band, pull it through everything, now go into the four loops of the claw, grab that end black band, pull it through everything. Wrap around the claw once. Um, now we've got one more wing wing vein to go.
So we need to go from this claw to that one. So take two black bands, pull them through, go into this gap, pointing towards the claw. Next two black bands. Go through that gap. Now take one, pull it through all, go into the four black loops of the claw, grab that one loop that was on your finger, pull it through everything, and then wrap it around the claw once. You can adjust the claws um, to make them point certain ways that you want them to. Um, like all adjustment is up to you. So now go ahead and create a second wing symmetrical. So to make it symmetrical, I kind of told you how in that video, it kind of told you what to do. If it's, or not in that video, just like when I was making the wing, I told you if it's your second wing, you would um, like slide it on or something like that. So this is the end of this video. Sorry for the bad lighting again and my mistakes. Um, so now I've got two wings. So by the end of this video, you should have two wings, symmetrical, um, then two front legs, symmetrical, um, two back legs, symmetrical, and your head and neck. Um, and in part two, we'll be making the body and tail and everything, and in part three, we're going to be adding the belly and the bottom jaw, and it'll be done. So thank you for watching and being patient with me throughout this tutorial. Um, and yeah, I hope yours is turning out good. And sorry for the inactivity. Um, I've been really busy. I've also made some other projects that I've been working on. I've also been making some like warrior cats. All of that is on my Instagram. So like, here's one. Anyways, um... My Instagram's in the link in, in the description. So, um, hope yours turns out well. Bye.